Hey everybody. No. Thank you for tuning in to another episode. And welcome to another adventure. <laughs> if you haven't already, please subscribe and smash that like button. <laughs> he told me to do that. No, you don't gotta smash the like button. Actually just tap it like a gentleman. Just I'm just gonna show you what I take for a one week long overland adventure. All right, so the number one thing, especially in the summer, is gonna be water. Uh, there's four gallons right there. Three gallons in this multi-purpose spray canister. Half a gallon multi-purpose sprayer. This is what I use to take a shower. It makes for a, a nice warm shower. Boiling water, the rest of it will be just regular room temperature water and that makes that's a really good mix right there you're gonna want something to cook with so I have the jet bowl system right here which is super convenient especially for heating up water got my uh, utensils pepper and salt right there here's a bunch of coffee packets and then just more utensils now I also carry a stove the stove is by Covea. Um, I think uh, GCI makes a, a stove that's kind of similar. I like this just because it's so slim. Really slim form factor and uh, very easy to set up. Right here is my privacy tent. This thing's giant. This is a four by four. So it's tucked away right here for easy access. And if someone needs to use the restroom or you know, I can use the shower, pull it out real quick. So I'm six foot tall and got a lot of headroom. I still got another good six inches of headroom. Very wide. And you're gonna need some kind of tent. Braden here has the gazelle tent. That's his preference. He used to run a rooftop tent. He had, actually had one very similar to what I'm running right now. Braden, why did you move away from the rooftop tent? I like organization more. So I want to run the drawers. I didn't want to be so heavy that I have the drawers and the rooftop tent because the drawer weighs about as much as the rooftop tent does. So it's pretty heavy. I'm loving the rooftop tent because now I'm organized. When we were in Lost Coast together, because you're my neighbor when we're camping, I had to empty out the entire car just so the wife and I could sleep. I remember all the husky bins. Yep, yep. Well, you need shelter. <laughs> it's definitely something you need when you're out overlanding. It could be in your car, in a tent, or a rooftop tent, or a... So they got a trailer with this giant rooftop tent. And then uh, some kind of way to store food. Yeah, I mean, if you wanted to, you could always just do like 100% freezer dried food. But in this case, I have a $260 refrigerator from Costco. This is the Mossimo brand. I've had this for a couple of years and it's been working great. And to secure it, I just get a ratchet strap. I just take a ratchet strap and I tie it down to the child seat connectors. And I just have one of these nice, easy to use ratchet straps. The thing is solid, it doesn't move. Food. I have pretty simple food, I got a lot of food for just me. I don't have anything too fancy, but um, you know, this stuff just isn't like freezer dried foods or canned foods. So I actually have real food. Yeah, so super important. You gotta throw away your stuff, otherwise places get shut down. This is a overlap vehicle system trash bag thing. It's, it's very similar to a trash -a -roo. And then let me show you what I did with this. So since we're uh, gonna be off-roading a lot this weekend, Put you down. I have a, I brought a three gallon gas canister and then I wanted to bring more fuel. So this is what I did. <laughs> I 
put it in here. So, very multi-purpose thing to have is the trash bag that attaches to your spare tire. Braden, how many miles are we off-roading today? I mean, not today, but the whole trip. It's like 300-something miles. Whole, yeah, the whole BDR is about 300. So the whole BDR is 335 miles. That's why we need all this fuel. And we did 115 today. You need a, you need a spare tire. For two years, I ran with a uh, Tully Motion XT Alpine um, cargo carrier, and I was able to fit a 33 inch tire there. This is 32.1, um, but definitely good to have a spare tire. So this, this is, this thing right here is called the Dirt Complex Trail Swing. It carries your tire, carries fuel packs, carries garbage, has a table with a little slide out right here. I do have a 5% code you could use, which is J-O-N-D-Z-5. That will save you 5% because these things are pricey. That ends up being a good amount of money. It ends up being like 100 bucks or something like that. I built my rig over a matter of over three years. This is my table. I don't I don't bring any other tables because this is my cooking area. This is my entire cooking area right here. I don't I don't really need anything else. Multi-purpose sprayer was uh, like twenty bucks. So I have a combination of some high-end gear, but I also have a lot of uh, cost-effective gear. Like instead of getting a water port, I just find that this multi-purpose sprayer, in my opinion, probably does a better job. It's tougher. It's super thick. The water port, you could, you know, if, you, if it slams, it'll break. So that's why I prefer that thing. And uh, what else? Um, Last thing I want to cover, I guess, is a uh, power station. I have 1,440 watt hours using the EcoFlow power station systems. And so this powers my CPAP machine at night, by the way, I have sleep apnea. <laughs> if you think you might have it, or actually if you're, if you're in denial, get yourself checked out. All right, Braden. Absolutely, I love it. See, Braden runs a CPAP machine too. Don't, I was in denial, I'll admit it. My wife was trying to tell me like, get checked out by a doctor and for like a couple years, I didn't listen to her, and then I finally did, and then it changed my life. So, so I'm so much happier now. And I think that's it. That's about the 10 minutes. Just trying to, you know, make sure I stay within the YouTube algorithms. I appreciate you all. Your vehicle could actually open up a whole new world to the outdoors via overlanding. So if that interests you, please consider subscribing. All right. I'll introduce people. This is uh, Cameron. You like being on camera? No? No, no. Okay. But he's been a really good contributor to my channel, leaving comments, all that. Thanks for the support, man. Thank you. And uh, a lot of his comments are very informational. And I've learned a lot. Evan, Evan, do you have an Instagram? Hey. Uh, yeah, I don't use it too much. Okay. It's uh, Casso Evan, C-A-S-O-E-V-A-M. All right. Well, I'm just going to take a quick look at your setup. Yeah, go for it. Very minimalist, but you know it's very effective. I... I ran with this uh, similar setup myself using, uh, you know, in my passport, just set up a bed on one side. And then what's nice is you could actually like go from your front seat, just lean yep. it back and slip at, slip over to the back and sleep. You never even have to get out of your car. And that's awesome when it's snowing. Yeah, so sleeping setup total time is like 30 seconds. Yeah, speed. right. Driving or doing whatever you're doing. Mm -hmm. so I do a lot of fly fishing and so it's, I get out the river and then nice. it's already set up. And it's I have a buddy that does fly fishing. Okay. So you guys should probably yeah. a lot of car camping. Hang out. <laughs> yeah. Cuz I know uh, fly fishing is typically exclusive to like these rich people, but um, he actually is able to do it by just, you know, yeah. just car camping. Yep. Yep. Overlanding. Cool. Yeah, it's very similar. Just awesome. Well, thanks for sharing. But man, that, that tent is gigantic. An awesome setup, but uh, I want to do a separate video 
where I interview and all that. Yeah, later, because it's going to take a lot of time to go through everything. But the cool thing is Ed, he took a work truck. Right, Ed, you took a work truck? The utility bed. Utility beds, uh, you know, Pacific. Those might That might look familiar to you. And he made this really awesome trailer out of it. This thing's sick. The suspension's awesome, too. I was driving behind Ed the whole time, and it's really effective. How much travel? 18 inches, nine up and nine down. <laughs> That's sweet. Cool. Well, we'll do a dedicated episode for you. Perfect. Perfect. All right, cool. Just going to go over to Sean now. Sean, you have a pretty simple setup. Do you sleep in the car? I do sleep. In okay. The car. Uh, do you mind? I sorry. Yeah, sorry to bug sure. you. I mean, it's a little different too. So. Okay. It's uh the front and back. Seats oh, what the heck? Pulled down together and uh, yeah. Just, they, they just come like this? Yep. Uh, well, actually, the EX, the LX didn't. So EX and above. Oh. Had these bed seats. What? That's awesome. I had no idea. Yeah, pretty simple. Just push them down and I'm ready to go. That's wow. cool. Wow. That's so creative. Yeah, it came like that. Comes with a table too, so like... That's I right. Know, yeah. yeah. Like stack the table <laughs> in there. It's like in the... Um, I, have that, I have that sleeping bag. The Ohuhu. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just actually using the outside bag for it. For my, my pillow and a blanket. Got it. All right, well, thanks for sharing. I'm just doing my rounds real quick. Here's Ernesto and his shift pod. Shift pod mini. <laughs> That's pretty self-explanatory, but uh, actually, it was it was Ernesto's idea for this video, oh, okay. right? Yeah, he said, hey, you should do a video on what you should bring. Uh, you should bring... I don't, yeah, so... What are your go-tos? Yeah, so... Um, I don't, you think you bring too much stuff, but I don't think you do. Well, on the inside, so the bed, I try to keep the stuff I use the most, the tail end, and then I keep avoiding here for uh, my tent first, and then uh, table, and then my chair. That way, okay. in reverse, my first thing I want is my chair. And I can sneak it in through this, uh, this rifle case uh -huh. that has my compressor and tools. Yeah, and a rifle. Not just. No. I, uh, <laughs> I just recently got this because I used to hide all this stuff underneath here. Oh, got it, which got is it. Hard to get to. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, peed off today. We had to use a couple of things in there. Uh, another so interesting thing there. about uh, Ernesto's setup is your 5.0 V8. Oh, so it has a Coyote engine. Yes. You got the best MPGs between me, this Lexus uh, GX over here. And my passport. <laughs> uh, yes, so I, I cruised up in here in uh, eco mode, which limits me to 2,000 RPM. I can put my foot in it and go a little bit above that when, it, when I need to climb. So I'm pretty much just idling here, and you know it doesn't work. You know, like, yeah. It's no replacement for displacement. Right. You know, it's not stressing out. Yeah. And I don't overload this thing. Right. You know, I don't right. have it. You got a good amount of gear though. Yeah. Like you have the right amount of overland gear. Yeah, and then inside I got a freeze, and then. I'll have my uh, my bedding stuff on this end, mm -hmm. and then a fridge with the power station, and I'll charge small devices in front of the power station. Yeah. So I think uh, you know, if people, if you haven't thought about using a Ford F one fifty, America's number one selling vehicle, yeah. as an Overland rig, you might want to reconsider. Yeah. And uh, my thing for this was like we can warrior that is not full time yeah. rig. So all right. this comes out really easily. Right. It's effective, man. Yeah. And you got a lot of room to spare. I'm really happy with it. And so uh, um, the, the 5.0 Coyote is kind of a rare engine though, right? Yeah. It's it's the least bought engine uh, of these trucks. But it's... It's the one I'd want. Yeah, it's the simplest. It's probably the only one I would... The only Ford engine I would... Yeah. And then engine option I'd the take. the last V8 I'll be able to buy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you know? I think, that, yeah. I think they're going away. <laughs> you know? and I don't want the turbo though, dude. Like at, after a hundred thousand miles, they go bad. Yeah. So they, they had a lot of issues uh, before the, they switched to all having a port injection, which this has has port and uh, direct injection. Cool, just like like Toyota system yeah. or yeah, Honda is just all direct injection, and you know you get carbon buildup. But also just from the turbo, it yeah. uh, 
not it's <laughs> yeah <laughs> things start leaking like the first thing great people do with the turbo f-150s is the catch can mm-hmm. which yeah i mean is that something they should be there yeah stock i don't know <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right well i'm gonna go do my rounds but uh, thank no you for sharing no problem so here's another rig this is john principal aka dark star overland and he actually won uh an award over at toyota fest in long beach so here we go here we go I, hopefully he's not too grumpy right now oh man <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right. How, um, how can I be grumpy with this? <laughs> that looks good. You just cooked that up right now? Yeah, I didn't have any lunch today, so I'm pretty hungry. Nice. Okay, so I'm going around and uh, checking out people's rigs. Yeah. So, obviously, this thing's real built, and you won the award. So, we need we need to do a separate little quick video, like a 10-minute video, about a walk around. I don't even know what I want to tell you about this. <laughs> <laughs> and how did you find out? So the did they call you or email you? No, no, they did the award at the show. Okay. But uh oh, dude, me thanks. On Instagram for a different award, so <laughs> nice. So his setup is pretty self-explanatory. He has a rooftop tent, a clamshell that is tucks away so fast. Yeah, my other group of guys that we go out with all the time. They get up super early and they freaking pack up and they're ready to go. So I had to do something to make myself pack down even faster so I could just get a little more <laughs> sleep, you know. And, and if not, you wake up in the morning and they're freaking ready to go and you're just waking up. All right, so beautiful rig. Sorry, I'm munching on some steak right now. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll get back more to that later. Definitely. And. One rig I really wanted to check out is Roy's Chevy ZR2. So look at that. Hello, Roy. Hello. Roy, do you have an Instagram? Uh, I have a YouTube. Uh, oh, you do? R-K-T-R-O-Y. One more time. R-K-T-R-O-Y. Also, I'm on the Colorado forum. All right. Rocket Roy. Okay, Rocket Roy. Got it. It's a very interesting system. So your the, the canopy pops up. Yeah, it's the uh, topper easy lift. I'm not sure what happened to them. They used to go to all the overland shows, but I haven't seen them lately. I haven't seen them in videos. I was able to get it. I built a... Thing's cool. Custom interior here. So all my gear just stows underneath. Yeah. And... Uh, so my recovery gear is up in my winch and my snap straps and stuff and then uh, sleep up here and then I just leave the bedding up here. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, it's, it's, this is just a camping phone mat. Huh. A backpacking phone mat. Okay. <laughs> it looks like it probably would work well for side sleepers like myself. Yeah. yeah. And I, I use an inflatable pad too. Mm -hmm. pad, so. It's a it's quite good. good amount of room here. There's a lot of room. You can sit up and everything. Yeah. And is this electric actuated? Yeah. Very cool. Nice. <laughs> when I fold it up, all I have to do is uh, take the tent poles out of the back of the tent and just uh, unzip the uh, top of the bimini from the bottom and then uh, tuck the bottom in the bed and hold the hold the platform. Really? This platform uh -huh. this holds down the tailgate from this place. Nice. Yeah, you have to sell them around. Yeah. Jordan has all the set of consoles. Goes up to, uh, to the ceiling. The ceiling has a, it's a car carpeted topper, so you can oh, go like stick the, to it. So oh, you cool. Just, just roll it up and stick it up to the top. Nice. And it looks like your canopy still is pretty good because I could see that no dust got through right there. Yeah, it's pretty good. Not, not too bad, not too dusty. And then it, it can't get through anyway because it, it hits the canvas. Got it. The canvas just tucks in yeah. when the top that comes down. So nice. There's it, a little bit of dust on that side, but that's on that side. So, so your Instagram is Rocket Roy, so I okay, imagine you're... YouTube. Oh, your YouTube. So I would imagine maybe your profession or hobby deals with rockets. Well... RKT, those are my initials. Oh, got it. And that 
what my PE teacher in high school used to call me as Rocket because you have to write your initials yeah. on your uh, T-shirts. Got it. Uh, but I was also an aerospace engineer. There you science, go. <laughs> so, so it works. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you for sharing. So, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Brady, and I interviewed you already, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll leave you alone then. No, you're good. <laughs> All right. So, pretty happy here. Good amount of space. About a queen size. Queen size mattress. Not quite as nice as Rob's setup. I'm, I'm sorry, Ed's setup. Over here.